Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Ronson Debonair automatic petrol lighter, rhodium plated, engine turned, with the initials HGS in the monogram space. Very cool old lighter. This lighter shows plenty of wear, dings, dents even scratches scuffs plating wear abuse however you want to term it plating loss but it is still a very nice lighter it just has a degree of character about it. This is about as impressive of a lighter as I have encountered. It didn't really seem that way when I was unblocking the flint tube and getting the mechanism put back together it, it didn't seem like it was really functioning all that well or but man once I got it back together and everything was cleaned up it is a whale of a lighter I think it's lit every time that I've struck it except one since I re-wicked it and got it cleaned up and everything. And I've probably struck it 25 times. So I'm not sure why this mechanism wasn't used more than it was, but it is an excellent lighter. If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button. Send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. That'll be Dependable Flame or DependableFlame.com on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and of course eBay. can see there where it is stamped rhodium plate and Ronson on this side. It does appear to have some corrosion there. It doesn't have a fulcrum screw cap, it just is a screw that screws into this post over here. See if I can open this without lighting it. <laughs> Cleaned it up, re-wicked it as I said. Just wiped it off really, didn't polish it or anything like that. I wouldn't know what you would do with rhodium. I read somewhere a while ago that that is platinum. Never heard that before. So I don't know if that is the case, but I did 
look on the ToledoBend.com VCL site and there's an article there by Larry Tolkien with a lot of great information. He calls this windscreen diamond cutout pattern. I'd say that's a pretty good description. And he also talks about the patent I believe it was 1929 when it was patented and that the models with the wider fill screws or screws on the bottom are the early 1930s the smaller screws are from the mid 1930s so there you go I'll take that that's uh, more knowledge than I have on the matter but you can see that engine turned pattern very cool design very intricate machining of the metal and it's very sturdy the lighter feels very good in your hand it doesn't feel clumsy it lights just fine from a from a down position make sure you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA Huntington's Disease Society of America with at least 10% of each purchase going to the charity. We also have three penny start auctions each month. They run 10 days apiece. Started a penny, free shipping. High bidder gets the lighter, pays the money, which goes 100% to the charity, and everybody is happy. Make sure that you follow us on eBay so that you get the notification when those new listings come up also make sure on the YouTube channel here that you hit the bell so that each time we publish a new video you're notified and you're not just wandering around there like a blind man in the dark trying to figure out when I'm gonna publish a new video get it right there in your notifications the lighter has the initials HGS doesn't bring any names to mind doesn't really bother me I know a lot of people don't like buying old lighters that have somebody else's initials in them or any initials I don't have a problem with it at all. It's just character. It's just it's no different than different advertising. And you know, this lighter really, I can't remember the video I was doing a while back when I was talking about some of the guys. Steven Stoller, I think, is the guy's name on the OTLS page that was talking about how we ought to um, appreciate the. Um, advertising the graphics those kind of things on the lesser known brand of lighters and I agree 100% um, and I've seen several other people talk about how lighters are a palette or a canvas for art but I would contend that in some cases the lighter itself is the art and this would be one of those not only in the design the art deco engine turned diamond cutout windscreen and all that but in the function of the lighter itself that is my contention that's the art Until next time.